Tim, an absolute honour to meet you. Thank you very much for joining us here at the Vertical Aerospace VX4. What do you make of this vehicle? I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's great to see this kind of innovative de design concept. Electric, of course, so uh, it's the future of short-range transportation systems that are clean, that can get in and out of cities from airport to centre, or maybe you know, island hopping, that kind of uh, role fast charge, fast turnaround time, four passengers in the back. So um, it's a great concept. And um, from a flying point of view, you know, you've got all the interesting things from a test pilot perspective of that transition from a conventional takeoff and landing to uh, a vertical takeoff and landing. Um, so it's been great speaking to the chief test pilot and, and understanding how they're integrating all these flight control systems. And you were having a good, really good uh, conversation with, with Simon Davies earlier. Uh, what were you talking about? Yeah, well, again, I, I like to think of it, okay, as test pilots, you kind of think of what, what, when, when it all goes wrong, yeah, so <laughs> what kind of redundancy systems have we got, uh, what kind of um, backup wiring systems, um, the, those kind of transitioning uh, undercarriage systems and how you manage that weight and payload and centre of gravity, so um, that's what I find fascinating about aircraft design because it's all in the detail and ultimately what you want to do is take as many passengers as possible as far as possible, but there are so many design considerations that are going to affect the, the range that you've got and the payload that you can carry um, and so it's just fascinating hearing some of those details. One of, one of the things that always uh, amazes me when I, when I hear and see this flight is how quiet it is. Is that an important consideration as we look to the future of aviation? Well it's going to be very important in certain areas and certainly if you're looking at something like this which is going to be a, a city airport to centre then absolutely no, you know, noise pollution is a huge concern and so if you've got a nice quiet vehicle that's going to be really important. You know it might be less important if you're looking at heavy lift capability from conventional airports. A lot of people have been asking if there's going to be a, a longer range version of this and looking at a hybrid system. Uh, would, is that something that you'd like to see come, come forward? Absolutely, but I mean, it's, it's like everything, isn't it? If you're going to go for extra range, then something else has to give. So what is it? What's the compromise? Um, and when you've got something that has a fast recharge time, and you're only looking for that kind of 100 mile um, radius, then, then this is a great vehicle concept. Uh, if you want to go further and have that extended range, then you might have to compromise on something. And a final one from me, if you were to take the VX4 anywhere in the world, where would it be? <laughs> I'd just like to take it for a flight. I'd, I wouldn't really mind where, just up there. Tim, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much.